Welcome to this Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about layers. So let's get started right away. Let's go up to File, New, and as you can see here there's also a keyboard shortcut. You can press Control in on a PC or Command in on a Mac. So we're just going to go ahead and click on New and we're going to create a new document and let's call this Layers. And now the dimensions, we'll go ahead and just this is for demonstration purposes, so you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to put eight, uh, about uh, 800 by 800. Let's see. Let's do that. So here we go. We have my image now. And I just want to create some layers just so I can give get you an idea of working with layers. So it's not important um, how you create these. And you don't even have to follow along with me. I'm just going to show you a layer. So let's go ahead and click on our rectangular uh, shape tool. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, select a color here. I'll just select something... Uh, red. And I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to hold down the shift key to constrain the proportions. And uh, here we go. I have a layer here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this a couple of times. You don't need to worry about how to do it. And I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change the color um, just so we can be on the same page. I'll make one black. So as you can see, I can move these around. It's, uh, So I can move these around and um, you can see some of them are behind other ones. So you have all these different, um, you have these different, there, each one of them is a layer and so you can stack them up differently. So uh, the, right now the red's on the bottom, the green is next and then the black's on top. Well if you go to your layers panel on the right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and I'm going to make these smaller. Uh, just bear with me just a second here. Okay, that's good. So, um, so on the layers panel over here to the right, we have different layers, and each one of these is a different layer. So you can see I can name them. Uh, you know, black, green, red. So in the layers panel, I you double click on the title to rename it, and I named it black, I named that one green, I named that one red. So each one of these is a layer. There's a layer, there's a layer, there's a layer, and here's the background layer. Now if you look to the left of each layer, there's an eye icon. That is your it indicates your layer visibility. To turn the layer off, simply click that button and you see now the white background is gone and we just get get that uh, gray and white checker which uh, represents transparent pixels something we'll get into later but um, so you've turned on the turn on the background layer and we can turn off the red layer we can turn off that layer we can turn off that layer we can click and drag over these eye icons to turn them all on and so what I want to get you um, focused on is how you can reorder your shapes or reorder your layers. So right now we have the reds on the bottom, the greens in the middle, and the black is on the front. Uh, the greens in the middle and the blacks on the front. So say we want to put the black on the front. Well, all we need to do is select our layer we want to move to the back. Um, and and also something else that's really important is these layers show in the order of which is on top. So this is on top. That's on top. That's going to be. That's going to cover up most of the thing. It's going to be on top of everything else. So wherever I position this, it'll be on top of the other layer. And same for this green one. This this is going to be in front of the red, but behind the black. So whatever's on top, that's what's going to be. That's what's going to be most visible. So um, to uh, move the black layer to the back, what we can do is click on the black layer and drag down while I'm holding the mouse button down and I'll move it and I'll position it right here where you get that little icon that little line icon or not the but you get that line the solid line and I can let go now you see black is on the back it's below the red it's below the green it's all the way on the back so that's how you position your layers say we want to bring the, the red to the front what we can do click and drag up to be on top. Wait till you get that little line icon or the line. Let go of your mouse and now the red's going to be on top. So this is how you basically organize your layers. And I'm just using some random generic shapes here just to show you. Um, 
but it's going to be really important that you learn and get familiar with layers. So I suggest you play around with this because when you're working with photographs or web graphics, you're going to be looking, working with layers a lot. Say you're creating a website, a prototype in Photoshop, you're going to need to be able to create layers and you might have dozens of layers. You might have 20, 30, 40 layers if you're making a complete website. And you're going to need to group them and organize them. And we haven't talked about grouping yet, but I'll talk about that later. And um, and so it's something you're going to be you're going to need to get familiar with. So I suggest you go ahead and play around with that. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.